I had a good mentor of mine, and, and when something go incorrect, he'd say, you know what, where you really should start is, he says, there's a nice big mirror in the men's room. Go take a look there first. When they were going out and selling people, what happened? <laughs> right? But when they start serving people, what happens? Paul oh, used to make me angry, you know? Because I'd say, well, that's not the problem. It's them. But what do I really got to do? I got to get outside myself and serve people. And I don't have any influence or control really on anyone. And I, at least sometimes I stand a chance with me. And that's where it starts. When I first uh, started to go to the shop, I kind of landed like a dictatorship. In other words, I was you know, the old mean boss that cracked the whip all the time to create results out of my employees. Boy, if there was a shrimp that fell on the floor from somebody walking by, boy, they got it. They were, you know, felt like they had the whip cracked across their back. Am I going to get a helper today? That's the only way I knew how to run things. Because that's how my father <laughs> kind of <laughs> raised me. <laughs> and I had this real realization that there was other ways of, you know, empowering people. He chose to, you know, be a, a, a different person than he was. He's just being himself. Oh, okay. You got a lot of work for you cut out today then, don't you? You bet. <laughs> yeah, you do. It's, there's no power trip. He's not the owner when he comes around. <laughs>